Here's a quick update on the status of my attempt to create an iDECT version of the Rook 180. I've extended the 180 by 10 centimeters in the Y to give me a 10 centimeter area at the back where I can actually have three extruders which I can exchange uh, during the print. My plan at the moment is to have two Bowden extruders, so I've got the Bowdens here, and a single uh, standard uh, extruder as per the current Rook 1H design. i just zoom in a little bit. I just want to show you the way the actual head attaches and detaches. So the head is currently attached. It's got four very strong magnets and three pyramid intersects to keep it stable uh, and powerfully locked in. As the head is moved to the back of the rook, it will mount onto this holding plate and these two uh, what I'm calling grabbers will, will in, interlock into the two sides and also these two protruding spikes will go into the holes at the front. So the design of the actual hot end uh, is exactly the same as the standard rook except I've extended it by four millimeters to put the magnets in. I've obviously reversed it so that it's now pointing backwards. I've reduced the fan by four millimeters so it's actually still the same overall depth. Um, and there's been quite a few changes to the actual front to allow for these grabbers and, and poles and so forth. So as it goes forward, it intersects into there and the two grabbers grab it either side. At the same time, there's a bar at the far left which pushes against the lever which rotates the thread which goes down the middle and just pulls away by a couple of uh, probably about a, a, a two millimeters uh, separating the magnets because otherwise just by strength alone it wouldn't be able to pull the magnets away but having broken that and given it that little gap in here it's able to then just pull back and separate out and then obviously would move forward and grab the next one the removal is basically just a reverse there's a uh, a moving part at the back here which gets pulled down I'm doing it currently by hand just pushing it down which is opening up the two grabbers effectively releasing it so it would grab like that, the grabbers would open and then it can just move back and it's got it engaged. At this point it's still got this two or a millimetre gap perhaps between the magnets. That's because this there's a small hinge on this side which needs pushing, pulling back and you can just see how they do that, it just moves it down a little bit because it's, it's, it's bringing the magnets into close proximity. I still need to add the, uh, the mechanism to pull that so as it retracts that bar gets pulled up and it locks it back in place with the magnets and then it can just carry on with the print.